In this lesson, I'd like to create a form, a query, and a report that all work in unison. The query will use a pair of dates to filter data. The end user will type the dates into a form, which are then passed to the query. The resulting record set from the query is then passed to a report. We'll start by creating a query. This query will include data that we will group together, including a date field. In the criteria of the date field, we will include a start date and an end date, and the data set will be inclusive of these two dates. We'll then take the data set from the query and produce a report. As it stands at this point, the date fields are inflexible as they are hardwired into the criteria of the query. We can alleviate this problem by creating a user entry form where the user will enter a start date inside of a text box and an end date inside of another text box. We then pass the start date and the end date from the user form into the query before the report is generated. I would also like to include the start and end date from the user entry form on top of the report so that the end user can actually see on the report the starting date and the ending date. The whole thing will be launched from a button on the user entry form. So the action takes place like this. You start by opening up the user entry form. The user enters the start and the end date here and here and then they click run report. It goes out and launches this report. This report requests the data from the query. The query will in turn request the start and end date up here from these controls on the form. Once it has the dates, it can go ahead and produce the data set and the report can go ahead and be um, opened and viewed.